Hi, hope you're all okay. If you remember, before Christmas we've been working on the Standard of Excellence Book 1 and we've been working on, in particular, uh, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and 15 and 16 of the Standard. And we started off with um, four score, learning a bottom C. Um, you'll see on the screen as well, you'll be able to see this sheet, what I'm looking at now. Um, so we started off with learning about C which was no fingers. If you look at four score, it will tell you in the example, the coloured example on number four, it'll say C over the top and then it'll have zero underneath it. So we're not going to push any fingers down on our instruments. It's a nice relaxed C. We all know how to do this anyway, this relaxed C, but we'll just go over it. Okay, so I'll play it first for you. I'll do the counting in between, remember, because we have four beats rest in between each four beat long note. Okay, so I'll start it off. I'll give myself four in. One, two, three, four. counted the beats rest in between. So that was number four. We then kind of moved back a bit. So we went on then to number two. Now if you notice on number two it has a D over the top. Remember we call this a dangling D because it's clinging on to the bottom line. And dangling D we said rounds with dangling D number one and number three. Okay good. So we did a D and this is slightly higher than the C so you're going to have to squeeze your lips a little bit tighter together maybe put a little bit more air in as well into the instrument. Okay, I'll do the D for you. Okay, I'll give myself four in again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> number one which was an E and the finger in for E is number one and number two remember E is on the first line now remember our rhymes that we have every good boy deserves football for line notes and space notes they're going to be F-A-C-E spelling face okay I'll do this number one and then we'll have a, a go together okay number one one two three four <laughs> Okay, okay, we're going to play now. We're going to start with number four, but we're going to do it with the backing track as well. Now the backing track has the music uh, in the bars rest, so that's quite helpful as well. So let's see how we get on with this. We'll just do one verse of uh, these three. We'll do number four, then we'll move on to number two, and then we'll move on to number one. Okay, four with the backing track. Number four. Four score. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> backing track to two and one um, so we'll play it together anyway I'll play along with you so we'll go on to number two dangling D keep your fingers pushed down all the way through this and have your fingers down before you start okay number two I'll give you four in one two three four <laughs> Two, 
three, four, stop. Well done. Okay, we're going to move on to number one. And number one's a little bit higher. Remember, this is an E on the first line, every. So this is going to be a little bit tighter with your lips. Squeeze your lips and put a little bit more air past them as well. Okay, I'll give you four into number one. This is number one and number two. Okay, E after four. One, two, three, four. to number five now now if you'll notice number five now the mixing all them three notes that we've just done so the mixing C's D's and E's up so have a look at your first note what do you think that one might be on the first line you can always check back on number one two and four to check which it looks like okay so that first note is an E and then we have four beats vest again what do you think the second note is Look back again if you need to. And that is a dangling D. And the third note, that will be a C. And the last note, back to a dangling D. Is that okay? Like I said, you can always check back on number one, two, and four. It's not as easy as doing that when you're actually playing it. You won't be able to keep jumping up and down with your eyes to try and find which note it is. But if you remember, the D is dangling from the line. The cheeseburger C has a little line running through it, and the E is on the longest line going across. Okay, so I'm going to try number five. I'll play it for you first, and then we'll play it along with the backing track. Okay, I'll play it for you first. And I'll count in between on the rest as well. Okay, I'll give myself four in. One, two, three, four. and tight for your ear remember and look forward to the note coming up once you started your ear off you don't necessarily need to keep looking at that note just keep looking a little bit further ahead if you can and you can see the D coming up next so as soon as you finish that E get the D ready and then play it after the four beats rest okay we'll play it with the backing track number five mix them up one two Ready, play. <laughs> and tight for your first note remember to count in between as well I know the music's helping you really count as well and look forward to the next note coming up okay one two ready play <laughs> six melting pot okay let's go through your notes first so what's your first note do you think try and work it out it's either going to be a c a d or an e so this one is a d okay let's look at your second note that's a c and the third note is on the line so that would be your e for every and then 
your last note will be your dangling D again. So I'll do one and three again. Okay. So I'll play this for you first and then we'll play along with a backing track. Give yourself four in. One, two, three, four. second note that's C the next note coming up is going to be an E so it's two notes higher so you've got to put a real uh, a bit more effort into that note a bit more air and a little bit more effort into that note okay so number six with the backing track number six melting pot one two ready play <laughs> to the E. Let's have one more go. Okay. Four in. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> Christmas this was uh, one of the easiest ones because you're doing like you did on number four number two and number one you're going up in stages rather than jumping around so what note do you think we we'll start with yeah it's a C that one okay and then your second note after the rest that one's a dangling D one and three and your third note on the longest line that's going to be your E on one and two and then the final one is going to be a cheeseburger C. Remember when I'm playing this video I'm playing towards you so I'm a bit back to front my one and two might look like two and three to you so don't get um, lulled into playing <laughs> two and three fingers if I turn my instrument around to where you play it it'd be number one and number two. Okay we'll do number seven I'll play it for you first and then we'll have a couple of goals with it ourselves okay. Number seven. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Seven, band on parade. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> that page 
there you can go through this um, with the video as many times as you want that first page if you like um, so you get get it right and keep pushing for them E's you know them are going to be the hardest you know the C's quite easy D's a little bit harder and the E on 1 and 2 that's a little bit higher so it's going to be a little bit harder as well okay we're going to move on to the next page that we've done a little bit of work on now this one's called a quarter's worth and this one's number 15 okay now remember in this one there are four notes in the bar and if there's four beats in the bar each one of them notes must be worth only one okay so you've got to start with you've got four E's then you've got them four of them squiggles and then you've got four D's and then four squiggles four C's four squiggles or four rests four D's and a long C to finish okay so you've got to make them sound with your tongue as well so e e e e i'll play this one for you first use your tongue on the notes remember to say t or t t t down your instrument to pronounce your notes okay i'll play it for you first i'll give myself four in one two three four to four shorter notes before it now okay really move your fingers on the d d d d c let the fingers off on that because you've no rest in between to get ready for that okay so should we try that together as well look at your notes four e's four rests four d's four rests four c's four rests four d's linking to a long four beat c at the end okay We'll play that with the backing track. Number 15, a quarter's worth. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> difficult that isn't it it shouldn't be in in some ways because it's the same E's same D's and same C's you can't you played on number five um, number five was E for four beats D for four beats C you're just re tonguing the note four times instead of holding it on for four beats okay shall we have another go, another go at that okay wait for the counting instrument up one two ready play <laughs> to number 16 now this is hot cross bonds um, now you notice that there are only two notes in the first bar so there's four beats in the bar but if there's two notes in it these are called minims how many beats are they worth each do you think if there's four beats and there's only two of them yeah they're going to be worth two each okay e2 d2 and then we move on to a bottom c for four beats Okay, and then we do it again. E, D, but this time the next C is worth two beats with a two beat rest after it. Okay, so you've got E, D, C, rest, rest. Then you've got the notes like you had in a quarter's worth. You've got four cheeseburger C's, 
forward dangling D's and then back to the E, the D and then the long C again. Okay, so you've got that E, D, C part three times, twice at the beginning and once at the end, although the second time you do it on the E, D, C, the C is only worth two on the first and last time, it's worth four on the C. So I'll play it for you first. There's loads of time, but move these fingers on the E, D, C. <coughs> move the fingers. Okay. I'll play it for you first. Hot plus ones. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Without the music first, play along with me, okay? Um, move your fingers on these E's, D's, C's, and then start using your tongue on the crotchet C's, D's. Okay, I gave you four in. Push your bells down to start your E. One, two, three, four. <laughs> to look forward when the notes are following each other with no rest in between you've got to look at the next note coming up otherwise it's a surprise to you and that's when you start to panic with your fingers okay we'll try that with a backing track we'll try that a couple of times okay number 16 hot cross buns one two ready play <laughs> track let's try it one last time okay four in instrument all one two ready play <laughs> times as you want just we keep replaying it and replaying it hopefully when we get back in school um, we'll be able to go through that I will be making another video moving a little bit further down the page to number 17 or Claire de la Lune and down to actually playing a new note an F and even maybe a G but for now you've plenty to be getting on with there like I say you can keep replaying the, the video back play along keep doing that first page Work on tightening your lips, work on your counting, tightening your lips up. Work on your finger work. You're actually moving your fingers really quickly through these notes. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and um, hope to see you very soon. Like I said, there's going to be another video coming out in a while. Uh, I'll get that to you so you can play along again um, with the video. Okay, thanks very much. Take care. See you again.